What's up viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a different video. If you come to my website, home of Teen Spider Web Comic, and a pop culture blog of sorts, and explore the site, I have 71 posts involving the Brady Bunch television show. I am a fan of the series, and my missives were tongue-in-cheek, observations I made while viewing the show. As a fan of the show and perpetual nerd, I have always collected certain things. As you can see, I have a collection of action figures. This is a condensed version. I kept some key pieces and sold off the rest. I was not going to be a pop collector but I wound up buying a few just on impulse. As you see, I have two Game of Thrones, two Star Wars, and Tom and Jerry Pops. Like I said, I kind of just bought them on impulse, and I thought they were really cool. Then I found out Funko was releasing Pops based on the Brady Bunch television series. I debated about buying them. I kind of want to not collect so much anymore, but I saw the Pops on Amazon and ordered them. The Pops arrived, and now I'm going to be doing an unboxing of them. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to open the box. This arrived Saturday, yesterday, and I'm very curious to open these pops up and see what's going on. So, cut things open here very carefully. One of the things I've always hated is when I worked in retail. People aggressively cut boxes open and damage the box. And as you can see, ah, a box within a box. Interesting. That's really cool. You keep the Funko Pops. All together. And again, carefully, I'm going to cut open the box and voila so now I'm going to take them out and kind of discuss the pops and kind of their significance I guess in a way one of the things I was disappointed in with the first six Brady Bunch Pops, no Jan figure. You have the other children, why not have Jan? I don't know if Eve Plum would, would, had not signed off or anything, but I'm a Jan fan, and I always thought she was prettier than Marsha. So it's kind of moot at this point. The first figure is Alice. Alice was very pivotal in the show, Ann B. Davis was a great comedic actress. Without Alice, the show would have been less interesting and kind of less comedic. I'm going to move Alice over and bring up the next figure. The next figure is, of course, Greg. Greg, the oldest child, the wannabe rock star, the whole Johnny Bravo episode was incredible. It highlighted that music was losing its soul and was overproduced. That is what spawned the punk movement. Imagine Greg coming in with a lime green mohawk and safety pin in his nose. That would have been an interesting episode. I'm going to move Greg over here and I'm going to bring out the next figure. And that figure is Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. 
the most gorgeous Brady, but extremely competitive. The whole male versus female thing was probably as political as the show got. Like I said, I'm a Jan fan and felt Jan was so much more pretty. Watch the Hawaiian episodes. Now I'm going to move Marsha over and make way for... Let's get them all lined up here. And now I'm going to make way for the middle boy, Peter Brady. Peter was probably pushed around by Greg a lot. He had to join the Sunflower Girls. But Peter was not a guy you really wanted to pick on because he was the only Brady boy to actually get in a physical fight. Peter's clashes with Buddy Hinton were numerous and were hinted about the entire show. Let's move Peter over. Since we don't have a Jan figure, the next figure is going to be Bobby Brady, the youngest. This kid had heart. Overshadowed by everyone when it came to competition, Bobby never gave up. His hyper-competitiveness drove him to become a race car driver, and eventually he would lose the use of his legs. Watch the Brady's episodes. And we'll move over Bobby, and of course that leaves one final figure. You might guess it, it's going to be the last one is Cindy, the youngest. There were so many episodes revolving around her growing up, from being a tattletale to an entrepreneur. She was probably Bobby's best friend in the show, and she was the youngest until the introduction of Cousin Oliver. And let's move Cindy up, and that is the entire set of figures. It might be an interesting second set for Funko to put out, we could get a Jan figure, Mike and Carol Brady, Sam the Butcher, and Cousin Oliver. Then rounding out the set would be Greg as Johnny Bravo. What do you think? I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, home of a wonderful webcomic, Teen Spider, and a pop culture blog, all of it for free. As always, thanks for stopping by. Thank <music> you.